oh, man. Long night last night, but a very good one. Very fun. And now I'm trying to get this video in because the Eagles are going to be coming on soon. You know, the whole NFL football thing can't be a social reject. But topic of today's video. Pre-orders, people, in my mind, are dead. Gone. Finished. They are no longer a relevant part of video gaming. Watch Dogs, Master Chief Collection, Assassin's Creed Unity, Drive Club. I could name more, but no longer do you even know what a game is going to be day one. Is it going to have um, stability problems, performance issues like Assassin's Creed Unity? Is it going to be a broken train wreck like Drive Club? Will the servers and matchmaking even work like the Master Flop Collection? You don't even know. Sweet By pre-ordering a game and getting a game day one, it's like going to Vegas, people. It is like putting your money and spinning the wheel in a game of roulette. You have no idea, no clue, no reassurance, no nothing. You are potentially going in blind to a game. So what do I do now? I'm going to wait a week, Sweet wait dreams. two weeks to see how a game releases. Is it going to be stable? Is it going to be good? Are the performance issues fixed? Does it have performance issues? Are the servers working? Do the servers, are they stable? Like, I can't even speak because there's just so many things that you have to think about before you buy a game outside of actually playing the damn game. I mean, normally when I go to buy a game, Okay, is it a game I'd like? Is it a game I'm interested in? Is it a game I could play that appeals to me? Is it a game I can have fun with? Now, I gotta wonder, hmm, are the servers gonna be working day one? Are the servers even gonna be working? Are the servers stable? Does the game have performance issues? Does the game have stability issues? Does it support SLI? Does it do this? Does it do that? Is it broken upon release? Does the game even work? Like, these are things as a consumer I should not have to worry about. So, Buying a game, day one, pre-ordering a game is, like, pointless yes. now. You don't know what the hell you're going to get. And, unfortunately, in an era of video games where we have all this modern technology, patches and things Watch like that, you, okay? it's terrible it's come to this. And, really, what is really even more disappointing is, how do these games go gold? Who is greenlighting these games? I mean... Nobody over at 343 Studios or Bungie saw that, oh, this game is a broken mess and we can't put it out this way. Nobody over at Ubisoft saw that the frame rate in Assassin's Creed Unity was twice as cinematic as cinematic. Oh, you heard me. You like your whole cinematic experience? Well, you're going to get that double when it comes to Assassin's Creed Unity. Nobody is, like, looking at these releases and saying, hold up, maybe we need to delayed or push it back a couple weeks you know so you can polish it fix this up because in the end all you're doing is damaging your brand that is all you're doing i can't in good faith buy battlefield hardline battlefield 5 or any other battlefield upon a launch upon the first week second week i have to wait a month i am but i'm sorry dice you know you screwed yourself over because you screwed me over that game I probably have never even touched because I was so pissed off about it. It wasn't working, you know, as one month, two month, three months passes, and you know, I'm already moved on to other games, and I don't want to go back to Battlefield. And at this point, if I want to go back, I'll just go play Battlefield 3. So, it's important to get your games out timely. I know it's the holiday season, but it is also important to have your game working and functional. It is what it is, people. Ubisoft, you know... Whoever's making Drive Club, 343 Studios, Just watch get your shit together.